Welcome to our session Location Concepts. My name is Professor Dr. Mario Blovig. The location discussion in connection with international trade theories has a long history. The mercantile doctrine, the major economic theory from the 16th to the 18th century claims that the prosperity of a country accumulated in gold or other precious metals should be increased by high exports and low imports. The more one country wins from bilateral trade through the trade surplus accumulated in the national treasury, the more the other country loses. The mercantile doctrine was replaced by Adam Smith's theory of absolute advantage published in his book, The Wealth of Nations, in 1776. Smith, who was ahead of his time when he supported liberalized trade systems, argued that countries differ in their manufacturing performance, so-called absolute cost advantage. If one country specializing in a particular product exports the product to a country from which it imports another product the trade partner specializes in, all participating countries will benefit from international trade. Import restrictions, such as customs duties, reduce the gains from specialization and cause a nation to lose wealth. David Ricardo further developed Smith's idea regarding comparative cost advantage as discussed in his book on the principles of economy and taxation, published in 1817. He claimed that countries should focus on items they can manufacture most efficiently in comparison to other nations. Consequently, countries should export those goods where they have a comparative advantage and import other products where the trade partner country has an advantage. Therefore, differences in productivity among countries initi initiate trade ambitions and result in a higher standard of living for the participating states. During the post-World War II period, location concepts with regards to firms' internationalization strategies attracted further attention. Issues such as where it is most profitable to locate a firm's production with regards to local market imperfections, transportation, plant size, advantages of monopolistic competition, and incorporation of technology became the center of interest. Swedish economists Heckscher and Olin claimed that countries differ in their factor endowments such as ground, labor, and financial capital. These differences cause divergent competitive advantages among nations. In addition, countries have comparative advantages in those goods for which the necessary factors of manufacture are comparatively abundant locally, which causes the price of goods to be lower because their corresponding input costs are lower as well. Therefore, a country should manufacture and export those products that use factors that are abundant at home. At the same time, nations that have a comparative disadvantage tend to import those goods whose production requires the factors that are relatively scarce in their country. To sum up, location models focus on the excess and optimal allocation of the input variables needed for efficient and innovative manufacturing and service output. In general, it is claimed that country and industry specific factor endowments influence a firm's innovation, business orientation and performance. For example, whether firms rather focus on home markets or international markets. For foreign firms, as a consequence, the strategic decision for market entry primarily depends on the location factors 
of the target country. Two central categories of location factors can be distinguished. The category of the macro environment and taking a more narrow perspective, the category of the firm's industry environment. These categories will be introduced and discussed in the following sections.